Hello everyone, um, come to this office, um, two um, MHI systems, twin split and a single split fitted by others, um, and they're having a no, uh, no heating issue. So I just want to quickly go through the MHI controller, the RCEX3 I think it is, very useful controller. So, so we've got no heat thing, so we're going to go into error history, so we've got service settings, Service maintenance, password, four nines, and we're going to error display, error history, E36, which is um, effectively a low pressure fault that's not low pressure, it's basically high discharge temperature, so it could be sensor or lack of refrigerant, but on these, these particular ones, um, it's normally to do with refrigerant, I found. So, now we're going to go to operation data. This is going to take ages, so hold on. And it's no worries. So we're back on. So now we've got various things here. So we've got obviously modes. This is a snapshot. Um, you select six items and then click display, and then you can see in real time. But if you press update, it'll constantly update all these figures. So what I want to know. So we'll go on to indoor heat exchanger temperatures we're going to go on to uh, da, 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 da. we're going to compressor discharge pipe in particular uh, you've got various other ones so depending on which particular outdoor you've got you'll have more more information or less information so you'll have high pressure and low pressure um, values as well so we'll click on display oh I need to select another one so let's go for that one. So these are updated every so often, um, but the, this is live data. So we can see our discharge is getting rather warm. So if I remember correctly, these, these will go out or about 120 degrees. So big indicator we've got an issue with uh, low refrigerant is a very high discharge temperature. So it shouldn't be over um, 100 degrees realistically uh, so we'll, we'll put some gauges on that and have a look I know for a fact that the other system tells us on our low pressure that we're pretty low again we'll confirm it with some gauges but yeah I just want to quickly show you these controls really useful with uh, the information they show um, so yeah that's it cheers guys let's go to the outdoor the larger twin spot unit uh, that one and uh, that's my gauge on and you can quite clearly see oil there so that's where it looks like the leak is so uh, we'll power this down and uh, get it fixed I think cheers guys to the one with the uh, discharged um, fault um, on these smaller units they use uh, the discharge um, sensor um, which is a good indicator of lack of refrigerant to cool the compressor down so using my trusty little JVAC gas mate So, what's that we got a leak? So that looks like two for two. Happy days. See you later.